Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So while I was using Linux Mint, I encountered something I wasn't accustomed to see anymore. Menu bars. This made me think about the menu bar concept versus the header bar that have been the staple feature of GNOME apps and elementary OS applications. So here are a few reflections. Menu bars. Menu bars have been around for as long as graphical programs existed. Whether they are embedded in the window itself, for example on older GNOME apps or on older versions of Windows, or located at the top of the screen in a global menu such as in macOS, they work the same. Each menu has a label and hides options and submenus that you navigate using the mouse or the keyboard. They allow you to display many options and features in a relatively small space and have been around for long enough that any user should be able to use them without too much hassle. Drawbacks include bad legibility, with every menu item being given the same space and importance, and total inadequacy for tactile use, as well as, in my opinion, bad aesthetics. Windows also occupy more space, with a title bar, a menu bar and a toolbar occupying some precious vertical real estate. Now what about header bars? Well, this concept started really appearing in the Linux world with GNOME 3. GNOME 3 apps did away with menus and stacked all the features in the Windows title bar. This saves space and, in my opinion, looks better as well. The advantage is that you get an overview of all features right from the app's window without digging into menus and submenus. And any excess feature or little menu item can be tucked in an overflow menu as well if needed. They are also a lot more touch friendly. The main drawback is the density of features. You simply cannot fit as many options in a toolbar as in a menu bar. Everything in excess must be added in an app menu, which kinda defeats the purpose of the header bar, which is to get rid of menus. Some would also cite the complexity of dragging the window around without a title bar, but I think this has already been solved, since on elementary OS and GNOME, for example, you can drag windows from any point on the header bar, even when clicking on an icon, as long as you hold the mouse button. And Linux window managers have had a modifier key to drag window feature for ages now. So in the end, the main advantages of header bar are mostly aesthetic and for touch input. So what of other OS's? Well, outside of the Linux world, there are two main approaches. Windows is in the process of getting rid of menu bars entirely, replacing it with ribbon interfaces, burger menus and other interface tricks. All the Windows apps still display menu bars, but native Microsoft apps don't use them anymore, apart from a few exceptions that have not yet been updated. They still maintain a title bar for most applications. MacOS, on the other hand, is using header bars more and more in its apps, but still maintains the global menu bar as well. This is a weird approach, with app windows using less vertical space, but the global menu bar reclaiming it anyways. But it allows apps to have a simple, legible interface, and still retain a lot of feature accessibility for more advanced users. So, which one is better? Well, each approach has its merits, and for simple applications, like a file manager, a calculator, a web browser, a header bar is perfectly fine. They don't have too many options and can do away with the menu bar easily. In more complex programs, though, it's much harder. Can you imagine GIMP or Kid in Live with a header bar? You would lose easy access to 90% of the app's features. So the easier pass is to say header bar for simple applications and menu bars for more complex ones, right? Well, that works, and that's the way it works right now if you're using no more elementary OS, but the interface of your system can quickly get totally incoherent. You use your file browser without any menus and suddenly you open a more complex program and it has a title bar, unlike other apps, and a menu bar in the window. This leads to a messy user experience. In the end, there is no unique solution. Each approach has its detractors and supporters, and none will please everyone. I personally feel that the macOS way might be the most complete. Header bars combined with a global menu bar that allows you to access more advanced features when you need them. This doesn't solve touch mobile use, but let's be honest. The features tucked away in the menus are not the ones you'll use primarily when using an app on a touchscreen or mobile device. I like GNOME's app menus, which kinda did the same thing, with the app's name being clickable and revealing a menu with submenus and options. It wasn't very discoverable, but it did the job pretty well. Ribbon interfaces also are a good way to optimize space usage. Since toolbars are separated into tabs, you can quickly get to any feature you need. It does require you to know in which tab the feature you're looking for is located and find its icon or button in the midst of other options. So legibility is a little worse than a traditional menu, since the ribbon is more cluttered, but it's a good compromise that LibreOffice, for example, is implementing in its notebook bar. In the end, I feel the solutions we have today on Linux are flawed. GNOME apps lack features and space to put them, KDE apps have too many menus and options, 
and while they can support a global menu, they still retain title bars and toolbars, and as such don't really optimize space use. My preference still goes to header bars, mainly for aesthetic reasons, and because I like my apps to do one thing well and not be jacks of all trade, so I don't need to have all the features available at one time. But my system can be quite an incoherent mess. On elementary OS, for example, I have elementary apps, which do not implement overflow menus, GNOME apps, which have such menus, older GNOME or GTK apps such as GIMP with menu bars, and KDE apps such as Kden Life with menu bars and a different theme than the rest of my applications. If I add LibreOffice and its notebook bar, which I really like, that's five different app styles at the same time on the same desktop. While I don't really mind since I'm used to switching between macOS, Windows and different Linux distributions, for any newcomer to Linux this doesn't make the platform look like a coherent, cohesive system. While no solution will please everyone, I feel we need to settle on a solution more space efficient than window-based menu bars and one more powerful than header bars as well. So that's it for my thought on the matter. What do you think about this subject? Do you prefer menu bars, header bars, or would you like to invent a completely new solution that would solve both problems? Sound off in the comments and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye!